Today we're going to be looking at things you can do to speed up charging your phone. Um, now, if you have a pretty big phone like me or something like the Galaxy Note, um, this can take all day if you're using the wrong kind of charger and the wrong kind of cabling. Um, for those of iPads and other tablets, you've probably realized that you can't charge them with your regular phone charger. And that's because um, batteries and chargers are all measured in what's called um, milliamp hours. And typically these are rated between something like 500 milliamps um, per hour or all the way up to 2000 milliamps per hour, um, which stands for two amps. Now, if you have a phone um, which is rated to be 3000 milliamps and you're using a 500 milliamp hour charger, it's going to take you about six hours to charge your phone. Um, I have done this myself and left my phone charging in whatever phone charger I could find at the office and it did actually take all day. Now for those of you who don't want to take all day and have your phone topped up you know, within an hour, an hour or two kind of range, um, it is actually important um, that you get A, the right kind of charger which has a very high um, throughput in terms of milliamps and what most people don't realize, the right kind of cabling. So to demonstrate this, um, I have my LG G2, and this has a battery capacity of 3000 milliamps. So again, if you have a charger, which you know puts out about 500 milliamps, as your typical desktop PC will do, you, know, you are looking at about six hours to charge that. So if I switch this on, you can see that, you know, 700 milliamps is, you know, into 3000 is going to take a little while to do. And the reason for this is not because of the battery pack. Um, this is actually down to the cabling, which a lot of people don't realize is actually as important as the battery itself. Now, what's going to be pretty hard to see here is the actual numbering. So what is important is the cable is measured in what's called the American wire gauge. And that basically indicates how thick the cabling is. So if you have a cable which is about 25, which is what this number is here, you can't really see that, but that does say 2725. Um, this is actually a pretty thin cable. And this thickness determines how much charge the actual um, cable can carry to your phone. And I managed to actually track down a much, much thicker wire, which you may be able to see here. Um, or possibly not. So this one is actually a 20 gauge wire instead of the 25, which is this one. Um, if you can find anything down to a 22 gauge, then you're looking at a pretty good cable. Um, but I was lucky enough to find a 20 gauge one. Now, if I simply change the cabling over, so this is, bear in mind, this is using the, the exact same charger. Um, we're not cheating by using a different tablet charger or anything else. Let me move that out of the way. Now you see my phone is charging. Hit the refresh button. I'm about to kick in. And then you'll see now this is taking on 1600 milliamps per hour. So that has actually dramatically increased the charging time, you know, threefold literally by just using a thicker wire. Um, so that means my phone will now charge in, you know, about two hours instead of, you know, what, three, four hours, just by simply using the correct kind of cabling.